Hi guys, Elmer, your fire protection guy. I got an intermittent fault here in the firefighter. Let's check it out. So this is your normal status. Let's see. Bell is okay, auxiliary okay, that's okay. And one thing you see is the fault relay is the one that clicking on and off that. There's a fault there on the brigade card. Brigade card is that. So we're going to check which one among this auxiliary fault and that's the fault relay, right? If I touch that, that's the one that's clicking. Okay, so you can hear that clicking relay clicks. Okay, let's figure it out. So that is the fault relay with a resistor. I will put my multimeter on it. And my reading is zero and then it will, sorry, 25, then zero, then 25 again, and then zero. Okay, so that's where your fault coming from. I'm going to remove the resistor and let's see if the fault will stay. This is the resistor that's connected to that fault output. Now I don't hear any noise. The intermittent fault is gone. And if you will see here, see that fault is on and I have a fault on that fault relay. Now let's check the voltage existing in this uh, relay output. I got 25. 0.5 voltage DC steady voltage from the fault relay okay so we might have my assumption we might have a problem with the resistor so I'm going to look for the resistor and try to replace that this resistor and install a new one I got a new 10k resistor to replace the resistor in this relay, output relay. Okay, let's put one in and let's see if we can clear the fault. I have, I installed a new resistor. Here's the resistor. And then I still have an intermittent fault. There you go, so fault. So after the installation of that, I still have a fault, an intermittent fault. Now let's look at here. If you will see, I have a bell off fault and then I have an auxiliary isolated fault. It's isolated because it's isolated right now there because of this button. All right, if I press that button, that's the isolate and you will see that I still have a problem with my auxiliary and my bell, which are both off, right? So what's the problem here? Definitely it's not coming from that relay card. It's coming from the entire brigade card. We're going to replace the brigade card and let's see what will happen. Okay, I am back on site with a replacement fire brigade card. So let's see if we can clear the fault. Like before, I temporarily, before I left yesterday, I temporarily bridged this normally open, normally closed fault, for fault circuit monitoring cable that goes to the main fire panel. So I won't have a fault in the main fire panel, which is only stays here. And temporarily, I removed this fault resistor, fault monitoring resistor, so that will, the fault will become permanent and not intermittent. I'll start replacing this brigade card. In replacing the brigade card, I will take a photo of the whole card, and this is the only cables that I have in, so I will do it one at a time as much as possible, but 
it looks like I can do the whole lot in one go. Okay? Because I don't have a bigger spice. I have one of my resistor snaps. So that one I done it temporarily while I'm testing and let's see what will happen. Let's switch it on. Okay, it's booting, and then I restore the battery. That's it. Battery is done. Still booting up. Initialization. All good. No fault. Looks like we solved the problem. Okay, so my last thing to do is just fix that thing. Oh, I still have an intermittent fault. All good. Okay, so that's it. Done. This is the old card. That's the new card. See the difference there at the bottom for the battery and the power supply connection. And the rest are almost identical. Okay, if you want to know the problem, I don't need to know. As long as I fix the problem as a technician, I don't really bother what seems to be the problem. As far as I know, it's the brigade card. Okay. Maybe you're asking where I get my spare. I got this from the old fire panel that I have in my training room. Uh, this one, oh, that's my last one. This one, I'm going to send it to John Carlino. I go to DY and hopefully he got a spare card for me. This is Elmer, your fire protection guy. See you next time. I hope you learned something today.